Hey everyone, how are you all doing? Welcome back to Newcom's YouTube channel. Today we have an extremely exciting package for you to unbox here. This very plain looking cardboard box with just a little sticker over here is actually keeping a beast of a dock inside of it. It's the uh, it's a Targus USB-C Universal Dual Video 4K Docking Station with 100 watts of power output. That's a mouthful of a name, but you'll see what it is once we get inside. All right, let's get into this thing. So, you are greeted here with the dock itself. The box itself, again, it looks really plain, but it almost doesn't do justice to what we have inside of it. Here's the dock. Let's get this part out of the way. else here I can put it aside so let's go over all of these one by one I'll actually save the dock for last saving the best for last so these are uh, the power cords for power input to the dock this is the European version and this is for uh, the British power outlets and also some other parts of the world. I'm not exactly sure uh, so these connect into this power adapter right here and this goes into uh, the dock itself to power the dock because the dock obviously does not get its power from the, the laptop or the computer uh, it gets the power from the wall so now we got the dock powered on these are just some documents I'll put it aside for now and uh, here we got some cable management very neat and what else do we have here? So here is the uh, the connection from the computer to the dock itself. So what we have here is a USB-C to USB-A, but actually it's uh, a USB-C male to USB-C male. This is just an adapter. All right, which is just connected right on to the cable for extra convenience. Very nice. I'll put it aside too. Now this is where it gets interesting. So over here, you have a bunch of pins. Uh, you have some heads that will connect to legacy laptops. So the old laptops that you have lying around, they don't actually necessarily have to be old. Usually you will find these types of sockets uh, in older laptops. There's still some like gaming laptops, like super powerful ones that still use uh, these, I would say, legacy connectors. And how they work, there's a bunch of them. Uh, how they work is that you have, you have these pins uh, on the bottom of all of them. They all look the same. And they connect to this cable right here, right? like so and uh, this end connects into the dock which I will get to in a second and you can now charge your legacy laptops with it very neat so now now is the time for the big reveal drum roll please So guys, I thought I would shoot this part again about the dock itself because, uh, well, my phone just decided to switch to the ultra-wide lens and, uh, well, the lighting, let's say, just was suboptimal, let's say. So, uh, here's the dock itself after uh, actually uh, having used it a while. I have a much better perspective as to what these ports do. So, let's go over the ports because that's what it's all about. Over here, this is the upstream USB-C port, which you can use the included USB-C uh, cable to actually 
physically uh, screw it to uh, the dock for extra security so that you won't tug it out of the, the dock. Uh, and the other end would be, of course, connected to your laptop. Probably not your PC because, I mean, on your PC you probably have enough ports on your motherboard. We usually have uh, trouble connecting um, multiple peripherals and a, like a gigabit Ethernet uh, cable to laptops because they're so slim. Uh, and they've just decided to do away with ports. So this would connect to your laptop as the upstream ports and the rest uh, of the USB ports are downstream ports, of course. Uh, these are three USB 3.0 type A ports, as well as another one right here, which is USB C. Now you can use this uh, as a power delivery. Actually, it is this one right here. This is another USB A port that you can use for data transfer as well as power delivery to your phones, all right, uh, for some fast charging action. On top of this port, which is already capable of charging your laptop uh, using PD 3.0 standard up to 100 watts of power. So if you have like the latest and greatest MacBook uh, M1, uh, the M2 Max uh, can charge up to 140 watts, but if you have like an M1 MacBook, you can charge it at a rate of up to 100 watts. So that is definitely great. And you know, if you don't have a MacBook and you're just using this for the data transfer and you want to use it with, or you have to use it with a different connector because it doesn't charge via USB-C, your laptop, it's a different brand, you can use this uh, power outputs right here, this 19.5 volt power output right here, and all the different connectors that I showed you before, connected to the head and connected to your laptop. You can, it, it supports pretty much every brand out there. So if your laptop isn't super modern and doesn't charge via USB-C up, up to 100 watts of power, you can use this one instead, so that you don't have to also carry around your uh, your your charging brick, of course, you would have to be carrying that around if you want to be uh, moving your laptop because this is mostly a stationary dock. So you have your charging brick in your backpack and like when you come home, you don't have to take the charging brick out of your backpack. You would just take the laptop out and just connect uh, the, the charging uh, cable that is in the box with the dock 190. So this is the method of charging for uh, legacy laptops, let's say, and this one would be used to not only transfer data, but also charge modern laptops, Not, of course, not just the new MacBooks. So now with that out of the way, with the USB-A ports and the USB-C ports out of the way, we also have an audio jack book, a combo jack port uh, right here on the left side, because this is how it would sit on your desk. So this would be the left side, uh, as well as this is where we get to the good part. Okay, before we get to the good part, let me just cover the uh, gigabit Ethernet port, which is rated up to a 480 megabits per second of data transfer. And of course, you have these LED indicators to make sure that the connection and the data transfer is healthy and it's it's going on. Now, with all of these out of the way and the power button out of the way, uh, we now talk about the main reason why you would want to get something like this. So we got video stream A block right here and video stream B block right here. This means that uh, you can only get two extra displays out of this dock, whether or not you have four displays. This has four ports, but only two of them, eat one from each block will work as a display out, All right? So do mind that. Don't think you're gonna get four displays out of this. You're gonna get two one from each block. Now, the HDMI ports are rated at 2.0, not quite the latest and greatest 2.1, but it is still very much capable of 4K at 60 Hertz, which is great. I mean, not very many people have access to 4K 144 Hertz, if really any watching this video. So that's plenty. And the display port is also 1.2, which is which also gives the same same resolution up to the same refresh rate of 60 hertz. So two ports capable of 4K 60 hertz. That that is probably the main reason for the premium that you're paying for uh, 
for this dock because good display ports are expensive. Right? If you see laptops with display ports, well, I mean, you don't really see laptops with display ports, but if you see laptops with HDMI ports, you will know how rare it is to find an HDMI 2.0. You mostly get like, if you're lucky, you got a 1.4. If not, you'll just get a 1.2, which isn't even capable of 4K output. But with this one, you can get 4K at 60. If it, if it was even HDMI 1.4, you would just get, um, HDMI, uh, you would get you would get 4K at 30, but you do get 4K at 60 with this dock. Now, the Display Port is Display Port Plus Plus. That ha it has the Plus Plus moniker uh, on it, which means that this this whole thing actually uh, it is you have to use a software to emulate displays with this dock for maximum compatibility. Targus has decided that. The, uh, the video outputs are emulated, so meaning they're not replicating a physical port on your laptop because then that would significantly limit the compatibility. So they went with software emulation, and for that, you would need to download the DisplayLink software or the DisplayLink manager for Windows from Targus's website. It's very easily accessible, even if not from Targus's website, but you know, it's there on Targus's website. So you download that on uh, Mac OS or Windows and uh, you know you can see the little icon in the system tray that display link is active and you can use the dock so with that with the software you can get these two display outs from the dock 190 without that you will have trouble so make sure you have the drivers installed because again this is software emulation of video outs now one cool other very cool extra feature that this has is that you can also use this to turn an Android tablet into multiple displays. Uh, you you just download the uh, the Display Link desktop, I think if I'm not mistaken, the Display Link desktop software from the Play Store, and uh, then you connect the upstream port to your tablet, and voila, you got uh, up to two extra displays coming from your Android tablet. That's definitely something to uh, to think about with this uh, dock. I mean, it's probably not the reason why you're getting it, unless it is. I mean, I'm, I'm not sure. I mean, people have different needs. Uh, but you can do that. You can turn an Android tablet into a productivity powerhouse, of course, with like a mouse and keyboard connected to it. You just connect the one upstream cable to it and you have like a like an entire workstation with a simple Android tablet. So, uh, and the final port that I forgot to talk about was this Kensington lock port. So this would be mostly, you know, uh, useful for like an enterprise situation to avoid theft. Although there's probably more, uh, there's probably more valuable things in a conference room at a company to steal than a dock. Uh, but I mean, it's there, I can't knock on it. So with that said, uh, who is this? For. Well, for pro home users, for sure, for people who want to get a couple of extra displays out of their laptop, this is definitely a good option. And I mean, along the way, you get a lot of extra goodies. You get gigabit Ethernet um, port, which is, you know, always appreciated, no matter how good, no matter how many Wi Fi 6s and 7s and 10s and 12s uh, standards will be added to our lineup wired connection you can't go wrong with an rj45 cable you can't go wrong with an rj45 cable lan is still the best way to connect to internet you can't change my mind i mean i'm a pc guy so there's that and, and of course all the other ports that you get from your laptop that probably has only just a couple of usb c ports anyways yeah, uh, so for pro users, pro home users, as well as enterprises who are just going to have this uh, set up in their conference room and whoever wants to come uh, and present with their laptop, they don't need to be like transferring the file to the to the computer at the, uh, at the conference room. They can just bring their own laptop and just simply connect the, the USB-C to USB-C or USB-A for maximum compatibility because yes, there is a USB-A adapter right on the USB-C cable that comes in the box. 
uh, and uh, they would only need to on the first try they would have to have the display link software installed but other than that it's just as simple as plug and play and you would be able to present your PowerPoint present presentation or whatever it is you want to present with uh, a USB cable and this is the reason why again I'm, I'm repeating myself but because the dock connects via USB is the reason why it can be so compatible with pretty much everything all right that's why they went with software emulation with that said uh, I will leave it here I hope you guys enjoyed this video this is a very unique product uh, that is very useful to some and for some they'll they're gonna look at this and think why would I pay that much for for this but if you have if, if you have a use case scenario for it there aren't really many or any uh, other docking stations quite like it. it's very powerful for some very overkill but for some almost a necessity so thank you for watching until this point uh, make sure to check out our other videos on the channel uh, we post a lot of uh, computer peripherals docking stations uh, mini docks usb hubs mouses and keyboards and all that on newcom's youtube channel uh, leave a like if you like the video and i'll see you guys in the next one Peace.